All right, welcome to week two of the inner series. Starting out, no level increase. Most likely that's gonna happen in patch 2.5. But now let's go ahead and take a look at our artificial island. So remember, right here, you can go ahead and click the present and you can get your resources for the day. But you wanna make sure that you visit your artificial island at least one time during the week. Cause you wanna make sure that you clear out your exchange door before the week ends as well as kill your enemies before they reset tomorrow. And by now, hopefully you have found the mysterious vendor to where he should be located around here. And if not, hopefully you've been able to visit some friends islands and get some pretty nice rewards. But to help you guys out, here's a location of where the mysterious vendor can spawn so that way you can find it easier and you can mark these areas on your map. Next we got fishing. And remember, you're trying to get your fishing to level nine so that way you can buy the matrices for the week. Every week you're going to get a random weekly box of an SSR matrice. If you've been pretty slow at doing your fishing, I recommend that you try to fish at least until you can get up to purple bait. Once you do, then you can just buy Pacific purple bait that you need. And for the people that already have their fishing, the level nine just make sure that you buy your purple bait for the week since it is very limited one thing to note for the new appointed research planktonic colony is that all of these researches are weekly so if you are a hardcore fisherman you might want to try to knock this one out fairly soon so that way you can always get your weekly limit for the week but i should be having a video out fairly soon discussing on what resources you need to complete this whole tab next you want to make sure you do your maze kitchen and you knock out your four bounties for the day and i'm going to go with vera but remember this one is a bit more difficult because it's going to send you anywhere through vera and enters so if you don't have a lot of time you might want to do asperia then we have our vitality section starting with joint operations so for today we got access to Bracer's Chest, a Huma and a Samir Matrix, Shoulders Helm, a Coco and a Shiro Matrix, Boots, Belt, and a Zero Matrix, Satinous Valley, The Endgame, Carnival Party, and Pursuit of Fate. So these are all really good dungeons, but I do recommend that you probably do the level 90 dungeons since they have better drop rates. But you still want to check and see if you have any level 3 Stargates. And how you do that is by going to Interstellar Exploration, and you want to make sure you check Vera, as well as check Asperas, so that way you can get all of your Stargates. And how you can tell if you have a level 3 Stargate is if this weapon battery category has a number 3, it's a level 3 Stargate, but if it has a number 2, it's a level 2 Stargate. If you don't have any level 3s or level 2s, you could always do Dimensional Trials. And this is all also a great way to get rid of your vitality quickly by hitting on go and then just doing quick battle and it will drain all of your vitality and you can get those weapon materials but you can also use it for matrix drills and go which brings us to your optionals and that is giving gifts to your 1.0 characters and the best way to do that is to go to the black market and talk to hopkins see this island and do the claw machine and knock out your two trainings for the day but what is not optional is to do your eight fun zones for the day especially since they give mira and training points and if you have not already I recommend that you do your six gray space fishers, but your biggest rewards are going to be in the twilight zone, but you do have an eight hour time limit, so you could wait on that. And don't forget to do your racing before the month ends, so that way you can get that easy 400 Mira. But with it being procrastinator day, make sure you do your security force mission, so that way you can get those old Vera coins in Mira. And don't forget to do your appointed research. So you can go to terminal, interested investigation, and you can get to your appointed research. Now for me, I'm mainly going to be focusing on trying to get booster module two, since this is repeatable but remember you only get five free energy a day and you can only hold a grand total of 20 energy so you want to make sure that this does not cap especially if you're trying to clear out all of these tabs but if you enjoyed this series i would greatly appreciate a like so that way it can spread more on youtube which brings us to our events so you want to make sure that you're logging in enough time so that way you get all of the rookie supplies as well as the supply run so that way you can get all of those red nucleus and special vouchers as well but one thing to note that if you are someone who's planning to spend money in the game this limited time tanium purchase reward is going away in three days which is a pretty good deal if you are planning to spend that much in the future then we have our sea survey gift and by now you should have done enough things to be able to get your free ssr selector especially since we have an extra 10 shards in this event which brings us to the grand sea tab to where you can do the deep sea treasure hunt to where if you do a lot of things inside enters you're going to be able to knock this out and get quite a few rewards on top of the challenger to-do list to where if you do most of the challenges you're going to be able to get a lot of extra rewards as well and now let's talk about our main event springtime song Hunter featuring water bomb impact which is basically like hot potato to where you're gonna have a water bomb on top of your head you need to pass that to someone before the time runs out otherwise you're eliminated the longer you last the more points you get and you do have random powers to help you along the way but i do recommend that you do this event because it's one of the events to where you can get many pelican shards to where right now that's very hard to get but if you don't care for this event on the 13th we're going to be able to get the second event springtime chase as well as lon's wedding outfit gotcha event so now let's talk about our limited banners. 
Lon is going away in a little over 10 days, so you still have quite a bit of time to get her. But for the reruns, they are going away in a little over three days. So if you wanted to pick up Annabella, Ruby, or Cobalt, your time is running out. But Icarus is confirmed for April 13th, which is directly two weeks after Lon came out. Meaning we can most likely predict when Fiona is coming out, which should be April 27th. Especially since we should be going into patch 2.5, on May 11th. And how you can tell is that they did release an event calendar for version 2.4. And if you look at this, we'll see that our longest events end on May 10th. Even Deep Sea Treasure Hunt and Challenger to-do list end on May 10th as well. And if we take a look at our challenges and you look at Origin of War, the season ends on May 11th, our shortest season yet. And same for Sequential Phantasm to where it says the rewards reset on May 11th. So with all of that, I think it's pretty safe to say that patch 2.0 will start on May 11th, which is also on a Thursday. On top of that, they also announced that we should be getting the new Lin outfit, but it's going to be in patch 2.5, so I don't think we would have to wait too long to get this new outfit. Next, you have your weekly tab. You want to make sure you do enough things down here so that we can get everything up top, which brings us to the challenges. So if you're trying to do something like the Bygone Phantasm or Frontier Clash, you want to make sure you do your Mia's Kitchen so that way you can power yourself up, but starting with the Bygone Phantasm. So again, I recommend that you take a look at this weapon bonus. If you have a good weapon bonus, you might might want to do this sneak to next level and if your cs is high enough you're going to be able to jump up 11 levels but the biggest thing that will determine your rank is sequential fantas if you notice right here i have some pretty high scores just due to that i'm going to be pretty difficult to beat this week then you have the wormhole if you want to get that extra energy crystal dust you have a little over three days to do that frontier clash you want to make sure you knock out your attempts so that we can get that extra golden gear and if you don't have time today just make sure you do it before tuesday origin of war you have until may 11th before the season ends so if it is a bit too difficult for you you could just wait until the last week. Void Ridge, if this is the first time boss for you, you want to go ahead and knock that out. Void Abyss, you want to make sure you knock this out before the end of the month. And this is a tech that I mainly use, and I recommend that everyone try to get Mechanical Core. You may not need to get all the way up to Mechanical Core 3, depending on how strong your team is. Rage, you want to make sure you do Shattered Realm on Heroic, Battle Test Area on Heroic, and Ring of Oblivion on Heroic as well, so that way you get the best rewards for the week. Break from Destiny, you want to make sure you do this at least one time so that we can get those easy 250 Dark Crystals. Arena, remember, you can do Apex League or you can do Critical Abyss, especially if you're trying to reach Grand Marshal. So if you have a strong team of eight people, you might find it easier to climb up to Grand Marshal with them. Which brings us to our daily buys. So you want to go to Shop, Hots, and then buy your One Vitality Solution, only if you can afford it. But I do recommend that you buy your Advanced Modules and your Booster Modules if you can. Which brings us to the Commissary, starting with the Crystal Dust Store. So you want to make sure you buy your Potent Omni Crystal 2, your Advanced Modules, your Booster Modules, and your very special gifts for the week. Space Time Store. You want to buy your Booster Modules, your Data Repeaters, and your Advanced Module 2s for the week. And if you can, you could try to max out your Visor Shards for the week, but this is is not necessary and I would focus on the other three first. Crew store. Now the only thing that you should be spending your points on are relics and the relics that I recommend are either space time rift, omnium shield, drone level three, or hologram projector. Support store. You want to buy your gold, your space time crystal fragments, and your space time crystal fragments. And you can even buy black nucleus. And with your return support points you can buy your space time crystal fragments, your proof of purchase, and your gold nucleus. And if you need help on how to do that I got a guide on my channel. Point store. Now the only thing you want to spend your points on are spare special gifts so that way you don't have to do training black market or see the island again but if you need to level up your matrices or weapons you could always buy matrix data packs or weapon batteries and with your critical abyss points you could always buy clusters but with that i just recommend that you explore the map because you can get a lot of good resources by knocking out the expiration to where i want to give a shout out to humble dk to where he put together a video series showing how to 100 percent all of this expiration as well as even the twilight zone one area that i need to work on so i'm going to go ahead and leave a link to his channel so that way you can go ahead and check him out because he definitely deserves some more subscribers and likes for all the hard work you put in well hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that the videos may be a little slow because i'm going to be working on the icarus testing and i plan to have that video out the day of his release but other than that talk with you guys later